Let me tell you a little bit about CMA. CMA was started uh, back in 1975. We just celebrated our 40th anniversary last year. Um, back in about 1972, in the early 70s, there was a man named Herb Shreve, and he had a teenage son, and he was looking to reach out and, and, and build a relationship with his teenage son. Many of you have had teenagers. I'm on my third one now, and I can tell you, you have to focus and you have to try hard to keep a relationship with your teenagers because the world is trying to take them away from us, right? And we're not an agrarian society anymore. We don't have all those kids living with us and, and we're not teaching them. They're spending a lot more time out there in the world sometimes than they spend with us. So we have to reach them. He looked for a way to reach his teenage son and he found motorcycles might be the thing to do it. So they went and bought a couple of motorcycles and they started riding around. And he went to a rally and uh, I don't know how many of you guys have been out to a motorcycle rally. Most of you are lucky. You've probably never set foot in a motorcycle rally. Um, but some of these motorcycle rallies are really rough. And I can tell you, they are the rough of the rough. You won't see anything out there in the world that you won't see at a motorcycle rally. I'll, trust me, it's a it's rough area. But he went to them, and he saw a great need, a great need for Christ in those motorcycle rallies. There's not much Jesus in the, in the dark world out there, and Satan tries to close that out, right? And so he went back, and he was a Baptist minister, believe it or not. He was a preacher. So he went back to his congregation and to his association, and he said, you know, I've been praying, and God's led me to, to, to this motorcycle ministry, and I think we ought to get involved about it. Would you pray about this? So they did. And he went back and met with them again, and they came back and said, you know, yeah, we prayed about it, but we don't feel like that's our calling. We feel like that's your calling, you know, Probably an uncomfortable thing, right? We talk about getting out of the boxes. We're about as out of the box as you can get. I mean, there's probably some other people that are out of the box, but not many people wear around a lot of leather with patches and, and go out and ride motorcycles into these communities. So he took that challenge, and he went back, and he, he, he got a lawyer, and they formed a, a 5013C corporation. Uh, and he began going out and, and recruiting help to get into the motorcycling uh, community. And, and look, this is not about motorcycles, okay? It really isn't. This is about the Lord Jesus Christ. The only reason we use motorcycles is because God has given us a passion to ride. You guys all have passions too. We use the motorcycles to go into the communities where the lost are and reach them. You need to use your passion that God's given you for whatever it is, if it's fishing or hunting or underwater basket weaving, whatever it is, use that passion. I don't know how many people you're going to reach underwater basket weaving, but you know, God just laid that on me. Some of you might have that as a passion, but if he did, go out there and get involved in that and do it. Take it, take it on and use the gifts that God's given you, the passions God's given you. Because what does he say? If you'll, if, you'll, if you'll commit your ways to me, I will give you the desires of your heart. The desire of my heart is to ride a motorcycle. I love that motorcycle out there. I love Jesus more. God has given me the ability to ride that motorcycle and reach people for him, right, and go out into this lost community. And we do a lot of things uh, out, in the, out in the lost community. Um, it, it's, it's motorcyclist, if you see. It's not motorcycle, okay? And many people don't, don't I mean, it's a subtle thing. But we're not, we're not there for the motorcyclists. We're there for these motorcyclists, okay? And we give out things. I don't know if you ever work on vehicles, but there's something there that, that we give out. Um, I don't know if you need it. I, uh, I got a few more of these if you guys, if you guys need them. And, and uh, if I didn't give them to the right guys God led me to, I got a bike full of them out there. So if you need a rag to wipe up your oil, if you ride a Harley like me and you need it, not really. My old Harley, yes, not my new Harley, okay? But uh, we give those things out to guys. And if you open that up and read, there's a tract inside of it. And there's a message on it, right? And it's got, it's got the gospel on it. And that's what we do. Now, these guys, they mean, they're not going to open that up immediately and look at it, maybe. Um, and they may get it greasy and they may throw it away. But it's just one thing that we do to go out there and reach them because, man, how many times do you need a rag and you don't have a rag? Um, Another thing we do is we hand out gospels of the New Testament. We hand out the New Testament. And it's called Hope for the Highway. And it's got some stories in here. It's got a lot of interesting things in here. And uh, you want one? All right. We give these out. And we hand them out. And, and just we know planting the seeds, right? You never know when you plant a seed. I don't know who in here that I'm planting a seed for today. And by us just being here, 
Somebody might get on fire. Some of you might have a passion for motorcycles. Some of you kids will grow up and have a passion for motorcycles. This is a ministry that you can use your passion for to get involved with and get engaged with. Another thing that we do, and we did some of this the other day. I don't know, you, you guys, you might have missed this, but there was this big Medal of Honor thing that went by, right, this weekend. So uh, we went down on Wednesday, and... Um, God has so blessed us. We, we have a great privilege to go down and escort these Medal of Honor winners back as they come into the, to the airport. We get to ride with them and escort them in, and uh, it, it's a really cool deal. But, but our regional uh, leader and I and a few others went around, and we thought, you know what a great opportunity. Let's go around and ask guys if we can bless their motorcycles. And so we've got these little stickers, and we take them around, and we bless their motorcycles, and we pray over them, and we lay hands on them, and we pray over for their safety. We pray that, that they'll be blessed, and that everywhere they go, they'll shine God's light. And it's amazing how many people will open up. How many of these hardcore, mean, tough-looking bikers will let you bless their motorcycle and pray over them? And we ask them, do you have prayer requests that we can pray for you? Well, are you hurting? What, what can we pray uh, you know, into your life? Uh, and we do those kinds of things. These are the ministries that we do. Um, does it work? Let me tell you a few stories. There's a lady, my, my company's headquartered in Hillsborough, Oregon, and I go out there every once in a while, and I was out there, and I happened to notice on one of the ladies' wall, she had a motorcycle hanging up on the wall, and her sitting on it. This lady did, did not look like she needed to be on a motorcycle or would be on a motorcycle, so I got to talking to her about it. And I said, you know, I'm a member of the CMA down in, down in Texas. She said, oh, we love the CMA. All these rallies we go to, those guys are always there with coffee, always there with water, always reaching out to people. So we are out there. It's visible. These patches, they get us into places that, that others can't go. And, and they're seen. And it works. We're putting the gospel in people's hands, whether they know it or not. Because I think sometimes they don't have a clue, you know. They don't have a clue uh, what we're doing. Last weekend, we got to go down to Denton Cycle Center. They had a big sixth anniversary uh, event down there. We got to set up the CMA tent, you know, Christian Motorcycle Association, hand out tracks, hand out a few Bibles, talk to a few people. We get to do that into that secular community. I don't know how many of you have gone out to a bike event lately and handed out stuff, right? Yeah. I would, listen, before I really got passionate about motorcycles, I wouldn't go into those places. I wouldn't go there. There's no way because they're, they're a tough looking crowd, right? Probably the same kind of crowds Jesus walked into back in the day, right? Probably the same kind, and that's the way we look at them, right? You have to cultivate this passion for the lost. If you don't have a passion for the lost, and understand that we walk around in the midst of dead people every day. These people are dead. They're dead in their sins. They're dead in their trespasses, and they are not going to get healed unless we go reach them, right? We have to do that. So, boy, I feel like I'm preaching. Um, there's a hog state rally coming up here in May. It's another example of how we can go out and get into these events. It's a three-day event. Um, it's, a patched, it's a patched event, meaning our membership event only. If you're not a member of hog, Harley Owners Group, you can't get into this event and participate. They've invited CMA to come in and set up tents and be there. They don't do this for just anybody, right? But they see that we are beneficial. They see that we bring hope into that lost world, right? And they let us serve with them and let us serve them and get involved. Um, so we're going to go do that. We're bridging the gap, you know, between Jesus and the motorcycle and community. This is our ministry. We all feel like we are ministers. This is our job. This is what God's called us to do, right? Um, I have a church. We all have church homes too, right? This is not what we do as church, Okay, this is, we don't just go around doing this and we don't have, we have church homes, but this is our mission field. This is what we feel as our mission field. And I thank you so much for partnering with us, you know, and letting us do this. Um, a side note here, you don't have to have a motorcycle to be in the CMA, okay? You can be a member of the CMA. All you have to do is go on the website. Look at the documentation there, fill out the, fill out the forms, check out, you know, you, you have to go through a book, and they want you to be, they want to understand that you know what it means to be a Christian, and that you are a Christian, and they're walking the walk, and it's not just words. They want to make sure of that, because we have a, we have a patch to protect, right? Yes. We honor Jesus Christ, and we don't want folks that aren't honoring Jesus Christ to be associated with CMA. We'll ride with anybody, but we won't let them be a member of CMA unless they're honoring Christ, okay? 
Um, but you don't have to have a motorcycle. So any of you guys, girls, uh, folks can, can come and get involved with CMA if you want to. Um, I love the heart. I, I love what you said about the heart. This is about changing hearts. Our mission statement is changing the world one heart at a time because we know that if we can't change their hearts, we're not going to change them, right? We change this world by changing the heart of man, right? Um, because we know that where the treasure is, there your heart will be also, right? So if we, can, if we can use these motorcycles, which is most of these guys' treasures to get in with them, we can change their hearts. Um, not us, but Christ who lives in us, right? It's Christ, all right? If, if anything I say makes you think it's about us or the motorcycles or the patches or the jacket, whatever, this is all rubbish. It's about Jesus Christ and bringing him into their world, okay? Um, give you a little bit of background. Over 28 years, uh, over the last 28 years, um, we did, we've been able to reach millions of people all around the world. Uh, some of the numbers, 21 million salvations, we believe. Now, it's, it's hard to count numbers, right, in all these remote areas, but we believe that because of CMA's efforts and money and giving, we have reached 21 million salvations. We have 21 million salvations around the world, okay? We are in, we are in 192. They may give you, they may have an updated number. I think we're in 194 now, but we're in 192 of 196 countries in the world, okay, that we've reached in CMA. Um, I'll give you a little bit of our data from our chapter, and then we'll run the, we'll run the video. Um, in 2015, not our chapter, in the world, in 2015, our Run for the Sun efforts, just going out, and, and this giving comes from uh, membership giving, it comes from corporate giving, it comes from churches just like yours, it comes from fundraising events that we do, like we had a bake sale yesterday at the Medal of Honor Parade, um, raised money for that. Uh, we've raised, we raised four, almost $4.5 million last year uh, as an organization. Um, we give, this, we give this money, we use this money in, in four different ways. One of them is, is national missions inside the U.S., uh, home missions. We put about $1.8 million into home missions. And that's things like going into this hog rally over here and buying tracks and buying water and setting up tents and, and helping them, uh, providing Bibles and rag tracks just like, just like you see here. Um, another thing that we're involved in is the Jesus film. You guys have all heard of the Jesus film or seen the Jesus film. I hope you've all seen it. I didn't realize there are some folks in our chapter that hadn't seen the Jesus film. We've, I've got the Jesus. We've got to get our own chapter members to see this Jesus film that we're seeding money into that's going out into the, into the world and, and touching people for Christ. Um, almost $900,000 we put into that. Missionary Ventures, which supplies motorcycles and bicycles, and you'll see a camel. I tell the chapter, I keep telling them this, we've got to go figure out how much a camel is and get another camel. We've got to have two camels. We can't just have one camel on the video. But I don't know. That's all God. I guess maybe God only needs one camel out there, you know. Um, almost $900,000 we put into buying motorcycles and bicycles and things like that last year. And the final thing is open doors. You know, out in, the, in, the, in some of the, the very closed countries, um, Afghanistan and Iraq and Iran and some of these places, the Christians are so oppressed. I mean, their churches are burned down, their houses are burned down, they're murdered. I mean, you guys see the news, right? Their heads are cut off, their children's heads are cut. It's a, it's a bad place, right? Open Doors goes in and tries to shore up those Christians in those, in those communities. They try to give them literature. They try to give them support as best they can. Uh, another $900,000 went into that last year uh, as a ministry. Um, you know, we do this for one reason and one reason alone. Because every day people are dying. I don't know if you guys know, but there's like 151,000 people that die every day, right? That's like two people a second. Two people a second are walking into eternity, right? And some of those folks are walking into eternity without Christ. Matter of fact, the Bible says more are walking into eternity without Christ than are, right? Many are chosen, few are called, right? And, and that, that path is wide that leads to destruction. It's very narrow that leads to, that leads to heaven, right? And so we're trying to reach those folks. Um, we'll go ahead and play the video, and then I'll give you just a, I'll give you a, an overview of what we did as our chapter last year. How's that? The Ministry of the Christian Motorcyclists Association was founded out of a desire to reach out to others with the love of Jesus. From the very beginning, 
The vision of CMA has been about changing the world one heart at a time. We believe that it is a scriptural command for every Christian and Christian organization to play their part in fulfilling the Great Commission found in Matthew 28, 19, where Jesus tells us, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. We understand that no one person or organization is capable of fulfilling that command alone, but we firmly believe that we must do our part. With that in mind, the Christian Motorcyclists Association has partnered with three other ministries, and together we have been able to touch all but four nations of the world with the gospel message of salvation through Jesus Christ. CMA is a ministry. We are not a fundraising organization. Run for the Sun is the only official fundraising effort we are involved in, and we give away more than we keep. It is important to note that none of the money raised is used to fund the day-to-day -day operating expenses of CMA or our partner ministries. Over the past 28 years, the ministry of CMA has seen 21 million people profess acceptance of Jesus Christ as a direct result of the outreaches funded by Run for the Sun. Of the money raised, CMA keeps only 40%, which we use to reach out to bikers and others throughout the United States and around the world. Primarily, we do this by getting involved in rallies, events, and various motorcycling organizations. We don't become them, but we reach out in service and look for opportunities to let our light shine. We strive to demonstrate and share the unconditional love of Christ. Through Run for the Sun, CMA provides members with training, and a wide variety of tools for use at large and small motorcycling events across the nation. All are designed to equip our members to reach out with the gospel of Christ to the hurting and the lost. In the ministry of CMA, we follow the instruction and example of Christ in Matthew 20, 28, where Christ Himself tells us, Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. Of the money raised, we give 20% to Missionary Ventures International. Through Missionary Ventures, CMA provides motorcycles, bicycles, and other forms of transportation to indigenous pastors and evangelists around the world. To date, CMA has placed 5,396 motorcycles, 6,484 bicycles, 26 boats, 24 horses, one camel, two snowmobiles, and three horse and buggies to pastors working in 104 different countries. Many of the vehicles have gone to pastors and evangelists to assist them in planting new churches and going into new areas with the gospel. Statistics are difficult to calculate, but we have seen as many as 12 new churches being planted with the use of just one motorcycle. And typically, every new church plant sees at least 100 people come to Christ within the first year alone. 20% of the money raised goes to the Jesus Film Project. The impact of the Jesus Film has been felt in jungles, deserts, and bustling cities throughout the world. The mission of the Jesus Film Project is to provide people with a life-changing encounter with Jesus through film. To date, the Jesus Film has been translated into 1,309 languages and shown in more than 200 countries. CMA's partnership with the Jesus Film Project has made a huge impact in the lives of countless faithful Christians. Historically, for every dollar invested in the Jesus Film, at least 10 people worldwide see the film and one person accepts Christ. With these estimates in mind, approximately 110 million people have viewed the film and about 11 million people have made decisions for Christ as a direct result of CMA's Run for the Sun gifts. Through our partnership with the Jesus Film Project, these funds have been used to train church planners, assist in developing 28 new language translations, and contributed finisher grants for 146 more translations of the Jesus Film. Run for the Sun funds have equipped Jesus Film teams in 96 countries with equipment, film prints, DVDs, and vehicles that together help get the good news of Jesus Christ to some of the most remote areas of the world. CMA was also the major contributor 
to one of the Jesus Films production projects which is being used to reach women in very difficult and hard to reach areas. For 61 years, Open Doors has been committed to working in 60 of the most oppressive and dangerous countries in the world, such as North Korea, Syria, and Nigeria. Open Doors encourages persecuted Christians to stand strong and equips them to shine the light of Christ in these dark places. One of the greatest challenges to Christians living under tyranny and loss of religious freedom is isolation from God's Word and from the body of Christ. Open Doors supports and strengthens suffering believers by providing Bibles and gospel development resources, by supporting the advancement of women and children, and through Christian community restoration efforts. CMA's partnership with Open Doors has made a huge impact in the lives of countless faithful Christians. Since Run for the Sun began in the mid-80s, CMA, through its partnership with Open Doors, has distributed over 2.5 million Bibles in many languages. In addition, CMA's Run for the Sun has provided the funds needed to train leaders and support many other projects. The impact of Run for the Sun knows no boundaries. As stated in the beginning, it is our belief that all Christians should do their part to help fulfill the Great Commission. Through Run for the Sun, you can play a part and together we can change the world. CMA's Run for the Sun is a place where you can invest and know beyond any doubt you will be participating in something that will result in someone's life being changed. You can touch someone somewhere in the world for Christ, but the choice is yours. On Saturday, May 7, 2016, CMA members will participate in the 28th annual Run for the Sun. Will you help us spread the light of Jesus around the world? Will you support Run for the Sun? You can make a difference. Awesome. So last year, uh, in our Run for the Sun efforts, um, we were able to raise over $17,000, our chapter in Gainesville, um, and we were able to provide a motorcycle to a, a pastor in Haiti, and that pastor now has that motorcycle. He wrote us a letter back, and we've got a little plaque. We've got a little picture of him and the motorcycle. We can't read it because it's in some Haitian language. We're still trying to find somebody that can interpret it, but we think it just says, thank you so much for giving to the Lord, and, and, and God bless you guys. But... Um, Thank you so much. You were the ones, you know, you helped us raise those funds, right? You helped us get that motorcycle to that pastor in Haiti. And, you know, we've got a song that's on one of the videos that says, thank you for giving, it's that thank you for giving to the Lord song, you know. Who knows when we get to heaven who's going to come up and say, thank you for giving to the Lord. And I believe that everybody in here that gave one penny to that is going to be thanked by someone because of that motorcycle that's going to reach, reach lives for Christ uh, for eternity. Thank you so much for having us. I, I hope you'll welcome us again, and I can come back next year in 2016 and tell you what we did, uh, or 2017, and tell you what we did in our 2016 fundraising and, and how you've helped. But God bless you guys, and I'm going to turn it back over to Miss Pamela now.